Hello, I'm Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue from tutorial 4 how to assess multiple elements in an XML file. If you've not gone through the previous tutorials, you can go through them now. If not, you can also follow along in this tutorial. It will be easy for you to understand from this point. Alright, so remember to subscribe. Uh, click on this uh, subscribe button just below the video you see a subscribe button click on it so that you get notified when I make new videos also like the video if it's been informative for you and also maybe share with your friends who may need the, to learn XML all right so let's go ahead to see how we can assess multiple elements in an XML file in the previous tutorial this is what we did we displayed the list of authors but at this point, we want to display the, the, the author, okay, and then maybe the book that, the, that he published. That is what we want to do in this tutorial. So forget about all this. So just start writing uh, a new function. Uh, let's call it tutorial 4. How to assess. Uh, multiple elements in an XML file public void assess multiple elements alright so so as usual, we start by loading the XML file into our our program. And how to do that is just to say X elements X elements is equal to X element of load. You specify the name of the XML file. So this is the first line to extract the XML file into your program right so now we want to then put everything in here into a collection called books so to do that you simply say X sorry you say uh, we can also even say lists of books list of uh, X elements <coughs> books is equal to is equal to X dot elements okay so okay sorry we can't use list because So this is what should be. So at this point, we've loaded the items from the XML file into a variable called books. Okay. Okay. So the next thing you are going to do, remember, I want to assess multiple elements. So let's start by writing a header. Let me put out this console the right line let's call it author names and books they published okay so this is the header so as usual we start a for loop for each um, x for each book okay let's say for each book in books so I want to iterate through this collection of books. Alright. So let's just write console dot write line. Um, uh, let's say let's start with of course you know how to format a string. Or to make it easy, let's just say So let's say this. 
this represents this represents the author name. I can say wrote, and then this represents the name of the book. I think it's as simple as that. So the first item represents the author name. The second one represents the name of the book. So you now specify what will be here and what will be here. So the first one will be book dot elements. Um, let's look at the file again. Book dot elements auto. Then the name of the book is a title. Okay. So just shift this the elements okay let's just make it very easy so let's just say string author name equal to book the elements the elements author the value Okay, so string title is equal to book dot element title dot value. You can actually write everything in line, but I'm trying to make it very easy. So for each book, we extract the author name, we extract the the title of the book. So console the right line this zero wrote this so specify what is going to be zero zero will be the author name and one will be the title okay so so after printing each line I'm going to display a line to separate the two so let's go Go ahead to put this separator if you want. If not, you can also leave it. So at this point, I think I'll have something good. So if we go back to the main program, so we can just change this to fn dot assess multiple elements, and that'll be fine. So if we run it, hopefully everything will be fine. So let's check. Raw scheme rose midnight rain, as you can see. Meanwhile, we have author names and books they published. Corrid Eva wrote Marvel Ascendant. We have Randall Cynthia wrote Lover Birds, and so on. So now this is how to assess multiple elements. Please uh, try this yourself. Make sure you try. If you have any problem, leave in the comment and be sure I'm going to respond immediately or in just a couple of days. Remember to subscribe. Click on subscribe button if you like this. And also remember to share with your friends and also give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. And then we'll be moving on to tutorial 5, how to assess specific elements with specific criteria.